When you live by water, it's hard not to want to be out on it. When I was very little, even before I could walk, my parents used to set me in the bottom of a canoe in a car seat. And I would fall asleep rocking back and forth on the waves with them. Growing up with the boundary waters in my backyard, I never really thought of the place as wilderness. I just called it home. Traveling through wilderness is as much about tradition as it is practicality. It's hard work, but it's the way that things have always been done here. If my ancestors who knew this land seven or eight generations ago were to show up today, they would immediately recognize a canoe and know how to use it. The canoe has always been a fundamental interface with the landscape. For me, to paddle is a way to connect to my history. It's a way for me to develop a relationship with the land. I think there's a real power in this relationship. And I've been very fortunate to be able to draw on that power in times of struggle. When I was 23 years old, I was diagnosed with a rare form of sarcoma. I remember for months, I would lay alone in radiation therapy, sometimes more than an hour at a time. Whenever I grew lonely or scared, I would close my eyes and think about home. I would think about Lake Superior and the Boundary Waters. Mm -hmm. 